Hi guys and welcome back to my small engine repair channel. Today I'm going to show you how to fix a lawnmower that surges up and down. And what I mean by surging up and down is when you hear the engine rev up, then rev down and rev up and rev down non-stop. It's a very annoying noise. I'm going to take the mower outside right now, start it up so that you can hear actually what I mean. And after that, I'll show you how easy it is to fix that problem. And here's the mower, it's got a Honda engine on it. I will start it so you see what's happening. You'll notice that it's surging up and down and it's very annoying. So you just heard that annoying sound of the engine revving up and down. What's causing that is a lack of fuel to the engine, so it's a carburetor issue. I will take the lawnmower back in the shop and show you how to fix this. So the first thing you want to do here is turn the fuel valve off. You want to take the air filter cover off. Now I'm going to use my impact with a 10 millimeter socket. You want to undo both bolts here. Now just pay attention to the order of all the parts. This part over here went right here. Now you'll need to take off the fuel line. Now just disconnect the linkage. There will be a bit of fuel left in the carb. Now I'm just going to clean the dirt off the carb. I'm just going to air blow it and use some carb cleaner. So now what you want to do is remove the ball. You need a 10 millimeter socket or 10 millimeter wrench. And the carb doesn't look too bad. Usually the carbs are dirtier when they surge up and down like this. Now I'm just going to remove the needle valve and the float here. Now the main issue that causes this is the small jet inside here. And sometimes the small jet under this screw over here. And I'll show you that later in the video. To remove that small jet, I'm using a slotted screwdriver. I'm going to reach down inside. Sometimes you just have to tap the carb and it comes out. And there's the emulsion tube here. What I do to stop the surging is I enlarge the jet hole here a little bit. That helps. Now, if you look at the whole carb here, it doesn't look that dirty, so you don't need to do an extreme clean on this carb. Grab yourself a torch tip cleaner like this. It's fairly inexpensive, and you want to run one of the tip cleaners inside the jet. So you'll have to figure out which one fits the best. And even if it's tight, that's okay, because you're actually enlarging the hole a tiny bit. And then you just want to blow some air in there. As you can see, it's quite clean. And you also want to examine all the tiny holes on the side here of the emulsion tube. They're all clean. You want to make sure the center hole is clean right through. You can run one of the tip cleaners in there. Now that's all I'm going to do for the inside of the carb because it looks pretty clean. Now to insert the emulsion tube, you want it in this position. Now the jet goes in like this. And now you want to tighten it up. Now you want to reinstall the float and the needle valve. If the needle valve has come off the float, you want to install it this way. Make sure it's all clean. Now insert the needle valve in the hole here where the seat is. Now put the pin back on. Put the bowl back on. And now reinstall the 10 millimeter bolt. Now this is the part of the carb that goes to the intake. I've removed the gasket. You want to make sure everything is clean back here. And also the gasket at the back came off, so you want to make sure everything is clean here as well. Sometimes I run the tip cleaner in these holes here. Now what I'm going to do is remove this screw here in order to access this one at the bottom. Now before you remove that screw, check how long it's threaded in so that you put it back in the same way after. And now just remove that screw. And now there's a small jet under here that I'm going to show you. Most of the time that's the culprit as to why these carburetors make the engine surge. 
Now what I do is I use a micro drill bit. It's about 13 thousandths of an inch. So it's a very small drill bit. You don't want to go much bigger than that because you may cause other problems. Now I don't know if you can see inside here but there is a small tiny jet with a tiny hole and by going in with my 13 thou bit I will expand that hole just a bit. You'll know if you've gone through because it's going to go right to the bottom. And tap it upside down just in case there's a few shards in there. So this is from a Honda engine as you saw at the beginning. I do have another carb. I'm going to show you how accessing this little jet may vary from carb to carb. So again here's a Honda style carb. To access that jet on this one you want to remove this part here. And once the screw is removed just pop this part over here. There's a small jet built into this part here. So I'll just do the same thing. And we're through. And once you've done that, just put it back into here, push it down all the way, and then reinstall the plastic part. And now coming back to this carburetor, just reinstall that screw. And also the idle speed screw here, which I will screw back into the same depth as it was before. Now here's the gasket that goes between the carb and the intake. It went like this. Now I'm going to replace this gasket because sometimes it bubbles up in here. Right there as you can see here and sometimes that can contribute to the surging. And the gasket you can use for that is this part number right here. It will be this small gasket which will go like this. What I did earlier is disconnected that and I cleaned this part here in old gas. If you use old gas and a paintbrush it works really well. Now what you want to do is put the metal spacer and you want it in this exact position here. Now the other gasket will go on and now you want to insert the carburetor through the studs and now what you want to do is hook up the throttle linkage and make sure you get it in the exact same hole here. And now what you want to do is get the spring in there. And I'll get the fuel line hooked up. These have to be the worst carburetor setups to put back on I've ever worked on. There's just so many things you got to keep together. And now you want to put this gasket over here on like that. And make sure that the vent tube is connected to the pipe here. Now just before you're about to bolt it back on you want to make sure that the shaft here on the choke lever is behind the metal part over here. If you don't do that your choke will not work. I'm just going to start it with the impact then I will hand tighten up the bolts and I'll just manually tighten up the bolts evenly. I don't have the torque specs. We're not working on the space shuttle here. Just use common sense. Open up the fuel valve. Reinstall the air filter and cover. And now I'm going to take it outside and see if that worked. Okay, let's give it a start and see what happens here. So as you see there that's much much better. You don't have to listen to that very annoying noise. So if you do those things guys more than likely you will resolve that problem. Sometimes you don't have to do all three things I did today. Sometimes just enlarging the jet at the top of the carb under the screw does the trick. But while I had the carb apart I thought I'll do everything at once. Now if you do all these things and you didn't replace the small gasket here between the intake and the carb you might want to replace the gasket. Sometimes it will cause that problem. 
so that's all you got to do guys thanks for watching make sure you're subscribed and that you're following me on facebook twitter and instagram and have a great day